even after that if something is required we will check in fill even after that if something is required we will go to redistribute okay but understand we will not go to gain gain will not transfer to win this win and gain they are very important customers both are important customers only difference is okay the only uh, like only difference is here you can see i may not be able to confirm the 100% quantity okay because again i am getting the you can see who can get from gain from gain the first priority would be given to the lose which means whenever a gain customer is placing the order let's assume there is a order from this customer and there is a order from this customer this customer is requesting 100 quantity we already seen that and this customer is requesting let's say 50 quantity so first priority will be given to this kind of customer what will happen whatever was confirmed to lose 50 quantity will move from here to here from here again 30 quantity will move and from here out of 30 as i told you in redistribute let's assume we have already confirmed 30 units to this customer but we only want 10 quantity for win customers so first that 10 will move from here to here now remaining 20 will move from here to k so we will not be able to confirm entire 50 quantity we will be only able to confirm 20 quantity because the first priority is given to the win customers but we will definitely not move anything from gain to win gain will not lose anything see the strategies see the wording of the strategies win is shall be fully confirmed in time okay this will not lose any time whatever quantity has been confirmed to this category will never be given to any other category same way gain gain is also improve if possible so if we can get more quantity good but it is not going to give any quantity to anyone okay redistribute is both so it will gain if the quantity is available here okay but it will lose if the quantity is required here so redistribute is kind of a normal where it can gain also and it can lose also fill means you can see shall not gain anything this will not gain anything okay so because should be uh, should keep confirmation but may also lose so definitely this is normally to lose it will only gain if there is available if there is something available in the lose but otherwise this is only for losing only okay so mainly all those customers which are falling under lose category and fill category during the back order processing execution most of the time the quantities will whatever quantities are confirmed here will move to redistribute or gain or to fill okay so this is very important if you want to understand advanced back order processing you should know what are the five confirmation strategies okay so this slide you should fit it in your mind it is very important whenever see it is not necessary that you will be using this functionality always within the system and this is also something which is not part of your uh, certification exam also this is not something which should be known to uh, a beginner or someone who is uh, learning sap sd for the first time the reason why i am taking this is because uh, at least you should know what is new in sap s for hana but nobody is going to ask you uh, this time this kind of questions because this is the upgradation normally this topic is covered in the upgradation sessions when you are a sd consultant having five ten years of experience if they want to upgrade themselves to s for hana so for those senior folks it is important to be very much aware of this functionalities because they must have worked on APO integration and all which will make their life easy. But for you, it is just to remember how exactly advanced ATP works, what is advanced ATP backorder processing. Okay, any questions? You understood what are these confirmation strategies? I will I'll just show you the glimpse of how exactly it will work in SAP, but theoretically, is it fine? Yeah. Uh, once we see the practically, I think it will be more clear, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. Practically, we may not be able to see fully because it is totally based on Fiori, and Fiori in the test system is not reliable. So I will not be showing the practical full demo, but I'll be showing you what are the different applications which are available and how to use it. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, this slide you will be sharing, isn't it? Like PPT yesterday is also we were expecting. 
yes 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 i'll be sharing this okay yesterday's also and this one also and whatever i created earlier also if i have not shared i'll share that yeah yes please yeah okay so what i want to show you is how this back order processing can be configured in the system okay so first of all if you want to use advanced atp feature there is only one configuration that you need to maintain previously there were three four different configurations that we were maintaining but now with uh, 1809 1909 even 2020 you need to only make one single configuration if you want to use the advanced atp functionality so let me take you there okay also i'll be sharing uh, with you the standard base practices for advance available to promise okay i'll tell you what exactly it is and it would be very important whenever you are in future whenever you are going to work on this particular scenario Okay, so the only configuration is on the check groups. If you remember, we discussed the check groups, availability check groups that we enter in the material master. So if I go to sales and distribution, basic functions, availability check and transfer of requirements. Okay, availability check. You can see these are the different availability checks related to advanced ATP. So for example, you can see availability check against the product allocation. We'll talk about that. First, we are discussing about back order processing. So availability check with ATP logic or against planning. And this is where you create the availability check groups. OK, if you remember this one we use whenever we are creating a material in the sales area data, we enter the check availability group. OK, so if you remember, we provided in our material master 0, 01, 0, 02, I told you these are the standard but you can use whatever different availability checks that you want to use. OK, so here, if you want to use advanced ATP, you can see there is a option provided here. So it is telling you are telling the system that for a particular availability check group, whether your advanced ATP functionality will work or not. So if I have a material and this material is assigned to this particular availability check group, for that particular material, my advanced ATP might be active or it might not be active. If I want to activate the advanced ATP for a particular material, then I need to make sure that I am assigning the availability check group to that material which is related to the advanced ATP functionality. OK, so if you want to activate advanced ATP, what you need to do is you just need to come here and you need to say that, yes, advanced active, uh, ATP is activated for my availability check group. OK, advanced ATP is not a mandatory feature. It is totally dependent upon the company. If there are many companies are happy with the basic check itself. OK, there are few companies who wants this advanced features. And that is the reason only for those companies you need to activate this feature. OK, and instead of uh, using the standard availability check, instead of activating here, what you can also do is you can create your copy okay let's say z1 z2 whatever you want to call it as you have to assign that availability check group to your materials and you can activate that particular availability check group for advanced atp okay so i'm telling the system that i'm going to use advanced atp for this particular availability check group you can see there is product allocation no pac in advanced atp so if you don't want to use product allocation then only you need to take this if you want to use product allocation, then this is not required to be taken. OK, so this is the only configuration where you need to tell the system whether the product allocation or the advanced ATP back order processing functionality is activated in your system or not. All the other things are done in Fiori. OK, and that is the reason since there was no Fiori in ECC, there is no question of whether this functionality was available in ECC or not. OK. So in Fiori, you have to ensure if you want to see the apps related to advanced ATP, 
you have to ensure i told you that in fiori it is totally the role based concept so if you have those roles then only you will be able to see the relevant sap fiori apps so this one order fulfillment manager sap underscore br underscore order underscore fulfillment underscore manager this role you should provide to your user id then only you will be able to see the fiori applications that i'm going to show you okay so in order to go to fiori i'm just opening the google chrome okay or i already told you how to access it if you are not able to see this logon logon 1909 i already told you you can do one thing from here also you can write a transaction slash ui2 first of all slash n then slash ui2 slash flp this will take you to the fiori launchpad only thing is it might take you through the internet explorer by default you need to copy it and you need to go to the google chrome okay so i'm logging into fiori with the same user id and password that i use whenever i'm connecting the traditional gui okay and in this one the applications related to advanced atp just click on this okay and obviously as i told you if you have the role then only you'll be able to see so please assign that role first to your user id then if you come down you can see atp these are the atp related functionalities these are the atp related applications so let's assume i want to first understand the atp back order processing so i'm clicking on this back order processing and you can see these are the applications related to advanced atp back order processing okay number one you can see configure the bop segments okay what are these bop segments in this bop segments you normally create your own rules you normally create your own if you remember i told you you can set up your rules so your rule can be combination of customer your rule can be combination of uh, delivery priority your rules can be combination of different fields so whatever rule you want to set up you can set up in this configure bop segment okay so i'll take one which is already created because as i told you it, it is not reliable so if i'm trying to create anything new i'm getting some errors so what i'll do is i will and this one if you are using the standard system with base practices activated then you will not face any issues this is a test system somebody is uh, playing with the fiori even the fiori technical consultants are also uh, working on this system and that is the reason we are facing some issues but otherwise in the new system you will not be able to face any such kind of issues i'll try to create but you will see there is an error so let me create a new bop segment you can provide the segment name whatever name you want to identify so let's say i'm creating the segment for my sales organization which is rech and this one i'm creating for win customers okay or win confirmation strategy okay sorry this is uh, restricted to the names win confirmation strategy okay you can provide the description also Now, since this is name, it will not allow the spatial characters. I need to remove this. Okay, and you can see, first itself, it is throwing some error. The name may not contain space. Even the spaces are not allowed. So, let me just provide some RECH win. Okay, some logical name. This is fine. Now, you can see here system is asking you what is your selection criteria which type of customers you want to include in this particular segment okay so i can say first of all which for which documents you are configuring this back order processing is it for the sales orders or it is also for the stock transfer orders or it is a mixed so normally we do it for the sales order now here you can see there are selection conditions you can add whatever number of conditions you want these are the different conditions provided by sap Okay, you can see delivery priority, you can see distribution channel, you can see customer group. So based on whatever different parameters you want to create your own 